y'all I am back with another video and I'm doing something different because I'm showing you guys my actual machine because I yeah I just want to show you something cool and I like the feedback that I was getting um, from the videos I've done I'm showing you how to drag and drop your patterns and sounds from machine into Logic Pro without having to do all that extra routing and stuff like that. So, um, my new name is the um, Simple Producing Queen because I'm not doing all that. Like, technology is supposed to make your life easier, and I'm just going to show you something that makes your life that makes your life easy. So, here I have um, Logic Pro. Okay, so what I want to show you today is how to um, use machines core trigger option inside of Logic Pro X. Now, you just gotta watch, okay? You gotta watch because um, Native Instruments, the machine micro, and all the machines, they have the coolest um, core trigger programming within their software and also on the hardware. And it's a shame that you can't use it in Logic Pro X, you know, because it's so simple. So I'm going to show you how to use the chords from Machine and drop them into Logic Pro X. And also, after you do that, how to use the sounds from Logic Pro X, because Logic has done some of the best sounds that I've heard, which is Alchemy. And also some of the other um, stock um, instruments. Yeah, so it's all about just you know, collaborating the two and making it easy and fast. Nobody wants to just be in there programming and all that stuff. So, yeah, so here we go. All right, so first of all, I have Logic Pro X put up here, and I just created an empty tracks, empty software instrument. I'm going to go over it again because this might be your first time. So you want to go to software instrument. It's going to say empty channel script, channel strip. Okay, create. I don't have to create because I already got one. All right, so then... I go to instruments and I'm going to go down here to AU instruments and I'm going to go to native instruments and I'm going to choose machine 2 and I'm going to be choosing stereo for what we're about to do you need to choose stereo all right so it's loading up for me Alright, so now it's pulled up. Okay. So first I need to find a piano. You can find any instrument because I'm not gonna be using an instrument that I'm choosing. I'm just gonna use it to create my chord progression. So I'm gonna go to all sounds and then I'm gonna go to instruments and I'm gonna go to keys and I'm gonna go to acoustic because you never can go wrong with the ballad grand. Alrighty. <coughs> So then you, I want to press my keyboard mode. I hope, you know, you can see what I'm doing here. So when I press keyboard mode, it's going to highlight all the pads. That's because there are now samples of all the notes within whatever key that you choose. So then I'm going to go here to my little knob thingy. <laughs> and then I'm going to choose my scale the the root note of what scale I want. I'm going to choose E and I know I want to choose E minor so to do that I'm actually going to move the camera right here I'm going to go here and I'm going to change that all to E I'm going to press this arrow and then scale bang I'm going to keep it at main and then I'm going to choose minor rolling it over twice minor. Alrighty, so then there I have it. So now we are now in E minor. So then it gets even more specific in particular. Let's see. Alright, I'm sorry guys. So then I'm going to go to my chord option which is here. I'm going to press that chord option. Yes, I need lotion, but I'm not putting on my... Alright, so then chords. Alright, so now it's on chord mode. 
and it's on minor chords because that's what I chose. I chose E minor. So next, you want to go push this arrow over. And you want to choose if you want to just play the chords harmonically, or do you want a, a chord set where they choose a group of chords for you? Now I love chord set because you never know what you're gonna get. So you can get even more specific. So I'm going to, we're going to be choosing chord set because that's what I'm choosing today. And then I'm going to go to type. And you do that by clicking the arrow to the right. And you'll see the type. Now you see we chose E minor, but it automatically comes in major one um, chords. So what I want to do is I want to go choose a, major, a minor chord set. So... Go keep scrolling, and after major eight, there's minor one. Yep. So then, you can choose a minor two. It's a different set of chords. Minor three. Minor four. Chords are like too sophisticated for me. That's what I love. Alright, so I'm going to be choosing minor five. And boom, so you keep it there. Alright, now you see why I said you will want this, you know, to be used in your logic collects because it's one of the best features. Alrighty. So I'm going to. Let's record on my MK3. Well, first I'm going to find a chord position. So you want to press record after you found your chord progression, but you also want to press record on in Logic Pro X. Alright, I got my chord pattern set to four bars. You can set it longer if you need to, but you want to make sure you press R within Logic Pro X when you're ready to record because it sets you at the marking point, which is awesome because they're synced up. So let's go ahead and pull it. Right. Press place bar to stop recording. Right. I'm going to press close eyes. Press the space bar to stop it. Alrighty. So then next I am going to move the marker all the way to the beginning. And then I'm going to go down here. I'm going to scroll this all the way over so I know where to put it. And then I'm going to drag this out and I'm going to drag it right on the track where it says where we have our machine pulled up. Good with it. Push no when it actually import tempo. Okay, because it's already in the right tempo. Alright, so now you see it's right where we put our machine in, right? So I'm going to close this out. So then I am going to go down here and I'm going to go to another software instrument. You can choose any software instrument. Horn, strings, piano, melotron. 
I'm choosing alchemy. And now you see that our channel strip is changed now. I'm going to click here on alchemy. And I'm going to go to browse. And I'm going to go to a bank um, of sounds in which I want. So I'm going to go to the keys. And I'm going to just pick something. And I don't have all the sounds loaded. I thought I downloaded them. All right. Um, Titanic Anthem. So the cool thing about this is that I want to show you. Alright, yeah, the cool thing I want to show you about this is why I like to pull it up inside of Logic 2 is that it will tell you what chords you, you, you are using. So if you highlight all of the notes, it'll show you what chords you're using. So this is an E minor note. A chord also E minor chord, but it's just a different variation, and also got an A minor there, G6, F minor, F what is that? F sharp minor 7. Alrighty, so I just like that that you can do that. Um, Logic is more so like a teacher along the way. Um, Gives you information. Oh, yeah, so that is something cool you can do to use your machine for. You can use it as a remote. Um, just read it. Alright, so yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. Um, you don't have to do any routing or anything like that. Just boom, simple, straight up. Alrighty, so hope this helps you. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, tell me what you want to learn next. Have a blessed day.